Though he was supposed to have died, Boruto awakened alive and well. In order to keep his vessel intact, Momoshiki had performed an unexpected miracle, fixing Boruto's wounds before his DNA installation was complete. This would mean now that Boruto was, to every cell, a complete Otsutsuki, and is more than ready to be fed to the Tentails. Boruto thought that Momoshiki's actions had prevented the prophecy from coming true, keeping him safe, but little did he realise the prophecy has yet to begin, and has yet to take everything from Boruto. Together with his new friend Nanashi, who saved Boruto in the river, Boruto and Nanashi go on a journey in hopes of returning home to the Hidden Leaf Village. Along the journey, Boruto and Nanashi went on many adventures together, and while Nanashi wasn't one for making friends and wanted nothing to do with him, Boruto left quite the impression on her, and the two found themselves a very sweet friendship had formed. However, instead of getting a warm welcome home, the Hidden Leaf Village wanted Boruto dead for the murder of the Seppo Kage and Shikamaru. Little did Boruto know, during this death, a change happened in Kawaki. When it looked like Naruto was about to abandon him, Kawaki seals him, Shikamaru, Hinata and Himawari to a space where time stands still, and has Ada use her power of omnipotence to switch his fate with Boruto's. The role reversal seemed dire for Boruto, but thanks to Sumire Kake and Sarada Uchiha not being affected for now, Sarada sent Sasuke to protect Boruto, even though his memories were altered. Boruto keeping Sasuke's old headband also helped with gaining his trust, and he joins Boruto and Nanashi on their mission to reverse what Kawaki did. The three travelled all around the shinobi world to find a counter to omnipotence, but instead they ran into trouble, into the clutches of Alpha, another member of Kara, who Amado believed it was to be incomplete, but incomplete he was no longer. And with his army of ten-tail clones, and a hidden range shinobi named Mertz, he would lead Neo Kara to a new world. Just as our heroes were about to fight, Boruto was betrayed by Nanashi, who revealed herself to be Nanashi Uchiha, an Uchiha who was sealed by her clan during the Warring States period. After being used as a weapon for many years, she wanted nothing more than the destruction of the shinobi world and all shinobi in it. And Neo Kara will make her dream come true. Boruto wanted to talk with Nanashi as he believed that their friendship wasn't a lie, but he and Sasuke were eventually outnumbered by Alpha's army. Sasuke bought Boruto enough time to escape, which ultimately costed his life. Boruto was alone again, but not for long. Boruto was later found by Koji Kashin, and not only did he continue with Boruto's training, but he also shared his visions of the future, visions that would lead to either Boruto's death or the end of the world. In spite of the odds, Boruto was determined to save the world and settle the feud between him and Kawaki, along with the feud between him and Nanashi. Just like his father, Boruto's determination gave Koji Kashin faith that Boruto will see the path through, and so Boruto would train for the next three years to achieve his goal, and he believed that someday he and Momoshiki could see eye to eye as well. On Kawaki's side of the story, even with the entire village on his side, Ada and Daemon wanted nothing to do with him, and Kawaki distanced himself from all the other villagers, along with his friends. But he was soon met with an unlikely visitor who has chosen Kawaki to be the messiah of a new world. And to do that, Kawaki must hand over Naruto Uzumaki. Kawaki was hesitant at first, but the stranger says that he'll be taken care of with tender loving care. No violence, no harm. 
In the time space where he sealed Naruto, Hinata, Himawari, and Shikamaru away, the stranger had faith that Kawaki would be a grand messiah and offered him the power needed to save his adopted father. However, unknown to Kawaki, he was pulled into the game of the stranger. The stranger named Alpha. Three years have passed since the casting of Omnipotence and the Hidden Leaf Village was under attack by the Ten Tails clones. The Eighth Hokage, Kodahamaru Sarutobi, led the charge as the Hidden Leaf Ninja all fought bravely and held out most of the army for Kawaki. But two human like Ten Tail clones arrived to turn the tables. This spelt the arrival of the Shinju, and their arrival was very much nigh. With Kawaki nowhere to be found, all hope was lost. Until, with the help of the flying Rajin Jutsu, Boruto Uzumaki arrives on the scene to save the day, and to shed the skin of the Shinju and free Wasabi Izuno and Enko Onikuma who were trapped inside. Sarada was most pleased to see Boruto back, but the sweet reunions were ultimately cut short when Mitsuki arrests Boruto on the spot for the murder of Naruto, Himawari, Shikamaru, and Hinata. Boruto accepts his fate, and he was taken in by Amado's request for questioning. Now in the same room, Boruto says that he is looking for Nanashi Uchiha and to talk with her once more, but Nanashi was close to the leader of Neokara. Amada reveals that despite the allegations on Boruto, he isn't quite sure if Boruto was the bad guy, or had anything to do with Naruto's murder. Three years ago, he had given Shikamaru a communication device to place on his ear, and ever since then, Amado could still hear Shikamaru's breathing to this very day. When also taken into account that there was no sign of Momoshiki's DNA inside of Kawaki, there was no clear answer to the murders, and so Boruto was locked up for further questioning. After Kawaki hears the news, he wasn't at all pleased that Boruto was let off, leading Sarada and Sumire to ask Ada more about her powers. While there was no way to change what Kawaki did, Sarada and Sumire held on to hope. But suddenly, late at night, Mitsuki attacked Boruto by the order of Kawaki, and the two engaged in a fight with Boruto, pinning Mitsuki down to the ground, all while trying not to get Mitsuki to see the truth, but to show him that his intentions through their exchange. Just as their battle ended, a pillar of thunder struck the village, with a new shinobi leading the charge, a new Shinju, named Itsuki. Itsuki was revealed to be the leader of the Shinju, and had come for Boruto and Kawaki. Not wanting to unleash Momoshiki's powers, Boruto led the fight somewhere else, but he was knocked out by Nanashi and was sent away to another dimension by Kawaki. Boruto soon found himself sealed in the same realm as his family and Shikamaru, and soon he had bear witness to seeing Alpha torturing his sister as he tried to rip out Kurama's reincarnated chakra from her body. From seeing the marks on her, Boruto saw that Himawari tried to escape her prison, but Alpha was just too quick. Alpha got what he came for, causing Himawari to faint from exhaustion, and Boruto to use his karma to set himself free. Seeing the struggle between Boruto and Momoshiki internally, Alpha sends Mets, powered by Shinju DNA, to kill Boruto. Boruto was able to regain conscience and freed his sister, mother, and Shikamaru. But before he could rescue Naruto, it was too late as Alpha unleashed his dark Jinchuriki, Akuma, who laid waste to Boruto and Kawaki upon arrival. Akuma left Kawaki's time space with Kawaki chasing after him, leaving Boruto for dead. Boruto was able to get everyone else out, all except him. He and Momoshiki had a few words, but Momoshiki warns Boruto that very soon, his karma will issue a full transformation and Boruto Uzumaki will cease to exist. Despite that, Boruto still has to save his family and home. Momoshiki still doubts 
that Boruto will ever make a difference. Yet Boruto's determination surprised and aggravated Momoshiki. But despite that aggravation, he still allowed Boruto to make a portal to return home, in order to find the answer to settle their feuds. Alpha, while avoiding Boruto and Kawaki, sends Itsuki to stop anyone who tries to follow him. And then Alpha goes after Ada, Daemon and Amado, with the help from an inside man, Tegusei. Ada thought that Daemon's power could easily kill Alpha, but instead, it was Daemon alone who died, much to everyone's shock. Even when Ada locked herself and Alpha in a room full of paper bombs, Alpha still stood tall and took Amado Sumire and Kitasuke to the hideout. Sarada Mitsuki dashed to check it out, but they, along with their hiddenly friends, were stopped by Itsuki, who wipes them all out. Boruto finally catches up with Kawaki and asks why he sided with Alpha. It was all revealed to be in the name of protecting the seventh Hokage and to wipe out the pain of the past, including the Otsutsuki. But Boruto could tell there was something more to it than that. Kawaki believed as the Messiah that the age of Shinobi was over. But even so, Boruto Uzumaki stands proud as a Shinobi and the two brothers clashed on the Great Stone Faces. Meanwhile, Sarada was struggling to fight against Itsuki alone, but no matter how hard Itsuki tried, he couldn't seem to land the final blow. Sarada escaped to find Alpha's hideout, with Itsuki giving chase, but then he was stopped by Akuma, and the two of them were forced to fight. Two tremendous battles were held in the Land of Fire. Two tremendous battles, in which both fighters read each other's thoughts simply from an exchange of fists, during their battle, Kawaki felt nothing except for killing his brother, but Boruto could only feel the pain in Kawaki's heart as he tries to reach to his adopted yet equally loved brother. As for Itsuki and Akuma, as wind rages and thunder races, a Rasengan and Shidori clash would send a large explosion through the shores, and all it took to end Boruto and Kawaki's fight was a punch from the two of them. Tired and exhausted, Boruto was able to see the fear of losing a family in Kawaki's eyes. Deep down, it was Boruto's family that Kawaki loved more than anything. After hearing Kawaki's words, Boruto shares his feelings with him. And he moves out to patch things up with Nanashi. However, things took a surprising turn in the ninja world. As the end of Itsuki and Akuma's fight brought a very surprising turn. The two had connected from their battle and called each other friends. And two bright lights casted their radiance across the world, cancelling out not only the effects of the omnipotence, but also freeing those captured in turn into Alpha Shinju. Omnipotence was believed to be unbroken, but this strength of bond is something that could never be taken away from the memories of others and the world's minds were healed. Two friends then emerged from their corrupted cocoons. From Akuma, it was Naruto Uzumaki, and from Itsuki, it was Sasuke Uchiha. Both with their limbs and full powers restored, the two head to battle to stop Alpha's plans. Although Omnipotence was released, there was still work to be done as Boruto heads towards Sarada's location. Kawaki was left alone with his thoughts, until Naruto stood before him. Naruto had every right to be mad at Kawaki for what he had done, but after all that happened, Naruto forgives his foolish son. Kawaki then was left with a choice, to do the right thing and help face Alpha, or to stay in his sorrows. Boruto finds Sarada and his friends alive, and we're very happy to see him. But Boruto didn't have time to waste, as he asks where Alpha's hideout is. And once there, Boruto stood before Alpha, and of course, Nanashi. Nanashi vows to end Boruto's life the same way she ended Koji Kashin a year prior to this battle. But Boruto still wants to give their friendship another chance. Koji Kashin showed Boruto all about 
none of she's passed prior to this. How she used her Sharingan ability, Yachi Hoko, to cause so much suffering. How she was used as a weapon, and how alone she was with no one to save her. This bitterness turned her hatred into something vile for the ninja world. And after being sealed for so many years until Alpha freed her, it's no wonder why friendship never crossed her mind. But after travelling with her, and bearing all her pain without fighting back, Nanashi wept as Boruto had warmed her cold heart. However, Alpha wasn't going to let Nanashi go so easily, as he had Tegusei mind control her to fight back Boruto. Thankfully for both of them, Tegusei's device was destroyed, and the hostages taken by Alpha were freed, and as well as Boruto and Nanashi saved, all thanks to Sasuke and Naruto's arrival. Alpha stands before the Hokage and wandering shinobi and praises them for being the reason for his existence and the source of his sins. Before he became Amino's lab rat, the template of Alpha's body belonged to the rejected son of Danzo Shimura. Disgusted by his plans, the son's mother wanted nothing to do with Danzo and grieved for how sick he had at that Alpha had become. Thus, he, had came, he was then taken to Kara for help. Once in Amado's care, he had made an amazing discovery. Amado saw that Alpha was born with Senju DNA. Amado thought that he had made a breakthrough, but he soon realised the amount of power was too great, and so, here and now, was vengeance for practically imprisoning Alpha, for all from his rise to power. Alpha had begun his ritual to godhood that he had sought for so long. Granted, Daemon did cause a few upsets in his plan, but ripping out one of Nanashi's eyes and using it more than compensated for the loss. Tegusei had given Alpha an artificial eye ninja tool that would allow him to access any bloodline visual jutsu, and one of them was Izanagi, which he had wasted with Daemon. But now, thanks to Nanashi, he now has Yachi Hoko. The next step of his plan was to use Hachi Hoko to, gev to gather up chakra from those affected by the engraved Sukuyomi implanted in omnipotence. Combining that chakra along with the Ten Tails chakra stored in, in, in the same way for the creation of Akuma implanted into his being awaken both the manga Kyosharingan and Rinnegan thanks to his Senju cells, giving Alpha his rise to godhood as he laid waste to our heroes and the shinobi world itself. Boruto tries to stop him, but he was brutally knocked out by Alpha. All was lost, but an unexpected group came to make a final stand against Alpha. Mitsuki, Sarada, and Kawaki did all they could to stop Alpha, but to no success. Alpha had had enough of the pests in his way, and absorbing Kawaki's karma, Alpha had all the power that he needed to deliver the final blow to the entire planet. But, but with the last of her strength, and her use of the Yachi Hoko, Boruto had risen for round two, with tears in his eyes. His wounds were almost life-threatening, if not truly life-threatening, but Momoshiki saves him once again, at the cost of his own existence. Seeing Boruto defy his fate had changed how he had thought about Boruto. Momoshiki told him that, Boruto, that Boruto's determination really was annoying, but it's also what makes him so exciting. Momoshiki fades away as Boruto would use the last of Momoshiki's power into a Rasengan that ends Alpha's reign. Alpha lamented on where he went wrong. He had power, but it all felt empty. Before he went into the light, he remembered his mother's last words before he was sent off for treatment, for Alpha to know that even if the whole world will be against him, she will always love him and know that he'll always be loved. Alpha passes away, hoping he will experience love more in the next life.
Amado stayed with Alpha till his skin turned cold. And shortly after, Boruto would also lose Nanashi. But not before she thanks Boruto for giving her hope, happiness and compassion. Giving him, giving him her necklace that Boruto gave her during their travels. And then Nanashi Uchiha passed away. But how can Boruto claim victory, given what he lost? Boruto was lost. But not before I stepped in. As a thanks for ending a world-ending plot, I took Boruto and his friends to my realm several days after recent events. Boruto kept wondering if there was a way to save Nanashi, and there was by means of going into the past by the Reservoir of Time's power, all in a full moon night. However, Boruto was warned that changing history could lead to dangerous consequences for the present. But after wishing everyone good luck, all in the hopes of bringing a new era, as well as hoping that he and Kawaki would be biological brothers in the future, Boruto heads into the past and frees Nanashi from her fate, giving her a new one bathed in sunlight. Boruto changed and laid waste to his existence, all for the sake of saving one small girl, allowing her to live on. Many consider this a crime. However, this one small act changed things quite miraculously. Conflicts had ceased, bonds were restored, and while a few events remained the same, Others changed for the better. The little girl lived on to be free and died giving others a chance to choose their own fate, as Boruto had given hers. Though she was bound to no clan, she was treasured by all, and she lived happy and free, just how her parents wanted. The little girl's name was Hikari Uchiha. And she lived happily ever after. Again, Boruto Uzumaki defied his fate again. Just like his father, he defied all odds to protect him what he believes is right. What a strange outcome indeed for this timeline. No, I suppose you knew that this was going to be the outcome, right, Grand Creator? Oh no, I'm just as surprised as you are, Lord Tonary. But yes, this is quite surprising indeed. This is the second time that Boruto Zemaki has defied fate. It seems that defying fate is in his character, and because of it, because of it, because of it, a bright new future was opened up. I suppose you found this tale Entertaining, I suppose? No, more than that. These stories, these words, they mean everything to me. And with your permission, i like to see how it ends. What is a hero? A hero? is one who defies the odds, who overcomes any obstacles, one who always tries to do the right thing, but never fails to be kind. The days roll on, and the past shifts into the future. Through connections and memories, bonds are forged. And with a little luck, those bonds could evolve into something unbreakable, something worth protecting. This is the story of a hero. 
a hero who lived happily ever after. And that hero's name was Boruto Uzumaki. <laughs> <laughs>